Dan line Cuda, Dan Cuda. Yeah, and Dan has re re reduced himself to throwing one big shots like that. It got in, but it didn't do enough damage. He's just not putting punches together. And I've seen him work in the gym where he's done that, so he's capable of it. It's just not doing it tonight. Also now he's following Donald around the ring. Yeah. More knee is cutting it off. Very good point, which he earlier at least was able to do that. That was good right hand from Larry Donald. It's a much better performance from Larry Donald than what I've seen. Yeah, he's really used to the skills that he has, and the conditioning probably a big, big factor there also. There's the jab of Dan Kuda again, and boy, when he throws it, it gets in there and it, it makes a difference for him. So the end of round four, and Larry Donald continues to and Dan Kuda. And Larry Donald really started to dictate the fight. In that last sequence, a classic Larry Donald sequence, the jab, a couple of jabs, followed by the straight right hand. Let's take a look at the jabs through the first four rounds, and that pretty much tells you the story of the fight. The interesting thing, though, is look at the percentage Dan Kuda's landing. 42% landed, and your jab is good. It just indicates to him, and I'm sure he'll go look at these tapes, that's a punch that's very underused. Because what happens is if you jab yourself into position, then you control those left hooks. Your point is well taken. Now, the head movement that was there from Dan Kuda is not, and it's really allowing Larry Donald to do a little bit more work when he does get inside. And a shutout for you. And it's hard to see it any other way. Dan Kuda maybe won one of the early rounds. Well, his only hope, Dan Kuda, now is to knock Larry Donald out. He's trying. And it's not that they have uh, that Dan Kuda hasn't been competitive in spots in his bout. It's just that he's not able to, to really put it together and be as consistent offensively. He's not there. He's telegraphed that left hook. Now, had he thrown that left hook to the body and then come with one to the head, he would have a chance at least of landing one. But when you telegraph it that much, a guy like Larry Donald is going to block the shot or slip it. Nice crowd here at the Atlanta yeah, morning nice. episode. And Donald again working the jab nicely. So this is what it feels like on like the Good Morning America or uh, I guess today I guess this is it. In fact, we should have a living room set. I think no, we I should. Think. Let's oh, get me get the ESPN on the phone. I want that. Bruce. <laughs> Really good counter punching by, by Donald. And uh, Dan Kuda can't get inside the jab now. There's, he's dipping down to throw that hook, but it's so laborious when he throws it. He's just not getting there. They talked a lot this morning about shortening Larry Donald's punches, and we've seen that, Barry. They're not looping, they're, they're short and they're concise. Yeah, the work of Jenks Morton, I think, is really showing on Larry Donald. He's been on his toes much of this fight, working the jab pretty well. He knows now he doesn't have to really get careless. He can win the fight just doing what he's doing. It may not be very pretty, but it's going to be enough. Not a right hand from Donald, a pretty good shot. We come to the end of round five, and things are pretty much as they have been. Had to go get him, throw caution to the wind, which is exactly what he's doing, and he did get him. And now Donald in retreat, right hand from Dan Kuda. Again, Dan Kuda following more than cutting the ring off, but uh, overhand right getting in a couple of times by Dan Kuda. It's not, it wasn't a super strong punch. Yeah, it's getting there, but it's just missing. It's just a little short. That's because of the way Donald is moving, he's just out of range. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. That one jab put him in position where there were other punches that were possible by Jack Kuda. And then he pulled the other punches. Yeah.
Another looping right hand, but he's just not quite getting Donald flush with that. He's getting him on the top of the head, side of the head. Oh, now that was a nice left hook to the body by Dan Kuda. More of that early, and that was what he planned on. Would have been beneficial. The right hand that got there, but was partially blocked by Donald. Pretty good round for Dan Kuda, but not going to be enough unless he gets his man out of there. This might be the first round in the bout, though, in which uh, we could put it in the win column for him. Yeah. Good left hand by Donald. Countering very well. And that's been the story of this bout. He, Donald's been able to counter pretty much the offense of Dan Kuda. So 20 seconds remaining in this fight. Larry Donald will have run his record, I'm quite sure, to six up and none down. Well, it ended up being a, a little bit less combative than we thought. Over the first few rounds, Dan Kudu was able to get some things done, but then Larry Donald's speed and, and power took over. So Larry Donald accepting the plaudits of the crowd, and you'd have to say he earned them today. Dan Kudu probably won that last round. He outpower punched uh, Donald 15 to 3 in the last round, but that was surely not enough for him. Well, a reminder, we're going to take a little retrospective on June 24th, a fight that was held a couple of months ago between Evander Holyfield, more than a couple of months ago now that I think about it, and Riddick Bowe. We'll have it for you on June 24th at 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock Pacific time. Holyfield and Bowe. Yeah, and uh, Alex Stewart and Evander Holyfield are going to fight at 26, so that'll be good, give us a good chance to, just a few days before that, look back and see what Holyfield did with Bo. That 10th uh, round, one of the most exciting that uh, I've seen in a long time. It was. So Larry Donald just being very calm, knowing that he's won the fight. Let's find out for sure that he did with Michael Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecards here at the Aladdin Hotel and Casino of Las Vegas. Al Siciliano scores the bout 57. 57, he has it even. Chuck Jampa scores the bout 58, 56, and Dave Moretti scores at 58, 56 for the winner by majority decision. Wow. Speedy Young Larry Dunn. That's, that's close. Very close. That's that's a surprise. That's the only thing I can say. They must have given the early rounds to Dan Kuda when he could have made a case for the fact that he won them. But they, remember, don't have the advantage of the numbers that we do. Some fights to look for down the road. One of them tomorrow.